Hi y'all, it's Becky Raisler with Becky's Junk Journals on Instagram and on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you um, my Peace Junk Journal. And it has gotten so fat that I had to take out <laughs> uh, some ephemera yesterday. Um, it's got three signatures in it. And I made the cover with uh, an old abstract painting that I had on um, watercolor paper. And I discovered, this is the first time I've ever done it, you know, one of my old paintings on here with watercolor paper. And I had a couple of problems with it that I'm going to have to fix and I wanted to show you. First of all, where the paint was thickest, can I don't know if you can see that, but right along the edges, the paper, the paint, painted part is separating right there. It looks like it's cracking, but it's actually the painted part coming loose. So I'm going to have to fix that. Um, <clears throat> I can glue it down. I can put paint, more paint on top of it. Uh, it's already got about four coats of spray, um, polyurethane or acrylic spray on it. Clear spray. Clear spray. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I'm, I'll have to do something or if I want this thing to hold up. Um, uh, but since I'm not selling my journals at this time, um, it's okay. You know, I'm learning as I go. This is only about the sixth journal I've ever made from scratch. And I'm going to show it to you here. The first page has a belly band that is made out of the same painting uh, with on watercolor paper and it's real thick. It's like leather um, When you put a lot of paint on top of watercolor paper, it becomes like leather and It's got a journaling card there. I Had more journaling cards and things stuffed in here and I had to take it all out because uh, It was just getting too full. and I was having trouble closing it See here's where that paper is is cracking and it's not the book. It's the paper that is tearing and I'll come along on this side and use um, some washi tape or um, uh, maybe some fabric to uh, reinforce that bar that seam right there. This beginning page is uh, one of my uh, inspired by Kate Mer Kate Mauer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kate. This is inspired by, by Kate Mauer's uh, work with all her layers and layers and fold outs and flip ups. It's got a journaling tag tucked in right there. It's got another one tucked in in the back. And then this cute little thing, my title pa paper, flips open four, four panels flip open and you've got a tiny little belly band right there with a definition in it. This is inked with oxide inks. Uh, plum I think is what it was called. <clears throat> I could have made uh, more fold outs and flip outs like Kate does. I could have put one uh, tucked back in here and up underneath here but uh, as it is my stuff I like to put so much in it that it gets so full I just had to take a lot of it out. So here you go. This is the first page, first full page. It's got a flip up for journaling and it's got a um, tag over here. And this was made and this, oh, this was made from um, Project Life Cards. Uh, they make great pockets, they're a good size. And this green lace, I've never seen anything like it before, but it's really old. I got it at the thrift shop locally for like 50 cents for a big old bag of it. <clears throat> and here we go. With This one is um, a doily, a paper doily collaged on there with magazine cutouts and uh, a sticker uh, on the back of a uh, oxide inked page. Uh, this one is also an oxide inked page with a big journaling tag there. And I got a tab. 
Here you go. I like the combinations of different types of lace. Here's another one made from a Project Life card. This has a giant, heavily collaged tag that goes all the way down in there to stay put. And there again, I had more stuff in here that I had to take out. I didn't want to. This is a collaged napkin. And this is Kool-Aid dyed paper here. I tucked in there a sheet of Kool-Aid dyed paper. Here's one I have yet to work on. And a lot of this I have yet to work on <clears throat> because um, I go through and put stuff on all the pockets on in, ta in um, belly bands and tuck spaces through my whole journal um, first before I start adding stuff to it. So um, this has got just a little tag into it that I made and this one probably I won't do a whole lot to I think I might cut out uh, a favorite poem and, and take and glue it in here um, I don't I'm not much for writing in my journals this is just a tuck with a tag and my handmade flower and that's my favorite little trim here's another page with lots of opportunity for decorating now these are the blank tags that I make <clears throat> and I put in there to inspire me for uh, the colors that I want to use. This is oxide inked the back of that decorative paper. And um, so, oops, got a little bend there, but uh, I've got it started. I've got the colors I want in here and then I'll come back in here and decorate it up. Um, to go with this page. Here's a blank page with Kool-Aid dyed paper. And this one's got a belly band um, and a couple of tags ready to be decorated further. This one's just got the plain, I've got the uh, side, cor the side uh, pocket with the fabric that I, uh, ribbon that I want to use to for my color inspiration and a couple of blank <clears throat> colorful tags there that I will decorate later. <clears throat> it's just a blank one. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, the allergies are getting to me today. There's one little tag I made and this one's not done yet and this page is not completely done. Here is, uh, sorry. <clears throat> This is a little booklet that I made that opens out for writing. And this is a colorful tag that I made with drilling spot on the back inside the belly band. And over here we have a envelope with just a pretty little card in it and um, a tag tucked in there. And then you've got a, another uh, colorful tag back in the back of that right there which makes a tab I like to decorate the fronts of all my um, <clears throat> signatures this one is started so I'll know whatever I'm going with it but all it is is a fold over tuck there uh, to get me started and I'll come back and I'll finish it up I, my favorite part is the decorating part but this is how I get started another belly band on that page and a uh, Kate Maurer <laughs> inspired uh, card but it took in there and then it opens up there and then it flips up here and you have more writing space this is just a card that I <clears throat> had uh, in my stash and a belly band. Here is a heavily collaged tag I made to go in this one to inspire me. Kool-Aid dyed paper and this is um, that plum um, oxide ink. This one has a little uh, clip-on tag there 
which has writing space on the back and a pretty plain for me journaling tag there it says hold on tight to your dreams and this one's got started on that tag okay, this is uh, oxide ink <clears throat> on the card that tucks back here that has not been decorated yet here's another envelope and lots more to go on these the center with I wish you could see this right here this is Kool-Aid dyed paper and it um, was on the bottom of the stack and it's got these little square uh, indentations <clears throat> that uh, are showing up that's really cool okay here we got some more and the further you go towards the back the less it's done here's a double pocket uh, oxide ink tags tags ticket and a little cut out there and here's a side pocket with a card that uh, has begun but not finished these are two that I made this one I use with a big project life card and it's just a, a large one and this one is I made with uh, paper and it's another Kate Maurer fold out okay it's so wonderful if you don't know about her you need to look her up she's fun and this is just uh, a corner pocket with two, two uh, tags this is an original D-Master reel with the reel inside of it that my husband brought home. He found it in the trash at work. <laughs> he works at a civic center where they put on a lot of productions and, and uh, he gets odd bits and pieces of stuff brought home that's left over after antique shows and, and uh, bead shows and all kind of stuff. This is one of my uh, <clears throat> altered paper clips and just a pretty magazine cutout that I had holding it on. Here's another uh, belly band that I made with another little open up journaling card. And it's got a pocket back here. This one is just started. I'm going to do this one in black and white and magenta on top of this. Two cards. This one's not done yet. <clears throat> this was made with Project Life cards, a big one and uh, two smaller ones. Uh, taped together to make journaling spots and another project life card on the back for a journaling spot this is um, made with um, napkin collage on here and uh, if you saw some of my other videos I talked about making this napkin collage and how I did it got a tag that I need to finish up and this is a fold out that I haven't done anything with this is the prettiest paper it's vellum and I bought it on Amazon uh, it was really inexpensive but uh, it's the most pretty paper that uh, I've been able to find so I chose it for my center of the signature Here's one that I have finished with a journaling card in the side pocket. This is a magazine cutout on this side. <clears throat> and this side is two journaling cards. This one uh, opens up with a, a pocket and a tag in it. And then my favorite flower, Agapanthus, tells you how to grow it on the back. And... That one is just its companion. Ooh, that's so blank. Gonna have to do something about that. <laughs> Another blank one. 
I just tuck this card in there for inspiration. This is how they look before I start working on the journal. <laughs> There's a tag that I'll complete later and a tag that is not quite complete yet. This tag is, is one of them, another one that I made from Project Life cards with a flip up and a fold out. And I talked about making these in, in a previous video. Another Project Life card tag that I made. I really like the colors. This was a garden package of Project Life cards that I got at um, Tuesday morning. And this belly band is a snippet row. Two cards that are not quite complete in a pocket. And the very back has a pocket, another pocket made from the uh, same material that's from the same painting and a big card and a little card that I've yet to finish. And that is it. Oh, and I didn't tell you my um, tie to close it is just doubled through that one side with an, with an eyelet and then it wraps around and it's got a real antique key on it. Anyway, that's all for today and I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please um, hit the thumbs up button and, and it'd be wonderful if you would subscribe while you're here. See you later. Bye-bye.